Hi friends. We're going to go ahead and start reading the book Room on the Broom. So all this week, you're going to be working, and part of next week probably, you will be listening to Room on the Broom and doing some fun activities that go along with it. You're going to listen to Barnes read the book, you're going to listen to Miss Julia read the book, you're going to listen to Mr. David read the book, some strangers read the book, and then we're going to watch a movie that goes along with the book Room on the Broom. This is one of my favorite fall stories. So Room on the Room, Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. I love the pictures with this. I love the words. I love the rhyming. This word book just makes me really happy. Oh, check it out. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred, and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed, and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Oh no, we've got a problem. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a lot of big words in here, so make sure you're checking out the vocabulary words that go along with this. Oh my. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat down on her head. I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes! cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields in the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud, ha ha ha, and out onto her hat, but away blew the bow from the braid just like that. Hmm, another problem. <gasps> Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her bent head low. Then said to the witch, then said as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom? For a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Mm. She's so friendly. Uh-oh. Check out the weather and check this out. Oh, my goodness. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Man, so many problems in this book, but there are solutions. Then all of a sudden from out of the pond leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak. See there? I'm a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy and <gasps> the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be and the witch with French fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her breathing out fire. 
help!" cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. <gasps> the dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, "Just this once, I'll have witch without fries." <gasps> oh, oh man! But just as he planned to begin his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl, and a growl, and a croak, and a shriek. It dripped, and it squelched as it strode, strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. <gasps> The dragon drew back and he started to shake. Ah, ah, I'm, I'm sorry, he spluttered. Ha, ha, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but n now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and flew off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, oh, thank you, the great fruit witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's insides. Oh, look. Then she filled up her cauldron, here's her cauldron, and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily. The cat found a cone. The bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. Stir it all up. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the dog. Frog, not the dog, the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Wow. All right, guys, this book is so good because it is all about this witch who runs into all these problems. And guess what? The problems all get solved. She finds friends along the way and they all help her solve her problem. So I think that's what it's all about. You're gonna have problems, but you're gonna have friends all around you. They're gonna help you solve those problems. So have fun with all the activity, guys. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did. And be sure soon you'll get to watch the movie. Thank you.